Well, hey, you guys. So for a lot of people, owning a home is seen as like the ultimate goal, right? Like once you've reached that milestone, I mean, you've done it. You have lived your life. But what if I told you that even after you've accomplished this goal, there's actually more financial progress that you should be working toward? And I'm talking about paying your house off early. That's right, goodbye mortgage. Now, lots of people see the mortgage as the final step, but it's important to remember that if you have a mortgage, debt is still technically in the mix because mortgage is debt, but it's the one type of debt we won't yell at you for. And in order to truly be financially free is when you fully own your home outright. So today I'm sharing four simple ways to reach that next milestone. But first, I wanna talk about the why behind paying off your mortgage early because let's be honest, a lot of people, you know, they get their 30 year, fixed rate mortgage and they just say, all right, in 30 years, it'll be paid off. And in fact, debt.org reports 90% of homeowners choose a 30 year mortgage when they want to buy a home. And I don't know about you, but I definitely don't find comfort in that stat necessarily of what debt.org has to say. Because while home ownership is a great way to build wealth, it needs to be part of your financial blueprints, you can actually lose money if you don't do it wisely. And FYI, I have an entire video explaining this and I'll link it for you below so you can check it out. Okay, so now let's get back to the why behind paying off your mortgage and why that should be a goal. Because when you look at the math side of it, you are paying so much in interest. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of interest that you, that you are paying. And again, if you choose the 30 year and actually leave it out for a 30 year, I'll show you the math, but it, it's so much, you guys. There's so much interest that is being paid out on the 30 year versus the 15. So when you actually attack it, not just in 15 years, but even less time than that, because you're making it a priority, you free up your house payment. And how much money would you have if you didn't even have a house payment? What could you give? What could you save for? What could you spend? It's an amazing thing when you think that you don't owe anyone anything. And that entire house, then all of the equity in that house is part of your net worth. You own it outright, which is incredible. Now, before I tell you how you can pay your mortgage off early, let's make sure that you have your money in a really solid place. Because trust me, owning a home before you're ready can really bring a lot of harm to you when it comes to building wealth and just your overall stress level. Because for a lot of people, you know, they still have tons of consumer debt, they don't have money saved, and they go in and buy a house. And then they realize how expensive home ownership is. And then they realize, oh my gosh, we don't have the money to, to upkeep. And if something big happens, especially like the heating and air goes out or something like that, you want money saved to be able to help with those things. And especially when you don't have any other debts, you have so much more of your income that can be used as a padding and emergency fund when it comes to home ownership. So again, being in a place where you are, you're debt free, again, you have an emergency fund, you own a home and you're investing in, you know, for retirement, kids college, all of that, like that is a great place to be. So if you have a mortgage and all your other bases are covered, again, you're out of debt and you have a fully funded emergency fund and a good town payment, here's how you can start paying off your home faster. Number one, make extra room in your budget. So before you do any of the next three things I'm gonna talk about, you wanna create some space in your budget. So maybe you lower your grocery spending by 50 bucks a month, or maybe you know you stop going out to eat maybe one month a year and put that extra money towards savings. Maybe you look at your subscriptions, all 12 of them, and you say, there's three here that we don't use. We're gonna cancel them, and we're gonna take that extra cash that we would be paying in the subscriptions, and we're gonna put it in our housing budget. And you really do, you commit to saying, okay, we're gonna do a couple of things just to tighten up the budget and get some margin there. So whatever that looks like for you, again, these little tweaks, they really do add up. And then once you figure out how much margin you have and that extra money that you can throw towards your mortgage, then we're in a really good spot to be looking ahead. And number two, once you have that margin, then I would encourage you to refinance from a 30-year to a 15-year mortgage. Now, you wanna make sure the rates are good because some of you have an excellent rate for a 30-year and it would be insane to do it because the interest rates, again, are so high to go to a 15-year. But once things kind of settle out, really do look at this, you guys, because putting yourself in a 15-year mortgage mathematically is going to force you into a shorter window when it comes to paying off your mortgage. But also, there's this idea that, okay, you know, we're, at, we're gonna have a slightly higher monthly payment, but we're gonna have a lower interest rate, which is great. And again, it forces you in this time window. And when you're on a plan and you have these kind of strict parameters around you, you end up paying 
your mortgage off faster than 15 years. And number three is to make extra payments when you can. So if you've ever felt stuck in that paycheck to paycheck cycle, this step can be really daunting. But again, we have the idea that, okay, we're gonna find some margin in our budget and then set a goal to make one extra payment a year. So if your mortgage is $1,500 a month, that means you're gonna save $125 a month or $29 a week for you to be able to save up an extra payment by the end of the year. And once you've achieved that goal, try making an extra payment every quarter and then every other month and then so on. And remember, you're gonna be putting those extra payments towards the principal portion of your loan, AKA the money that you owe on the actual value of your home. So you're not just throwing it at the interest. Number four is to downsize if you need to. So the harsh truth is in the real estate industry is that sometimes that people are sold houses that they really just can't afford. And if your current mortgage is costing you way more than 25% of your take home pay, you wanna think about downsizing because having a lower monthly payment on your house can be such a game changer when it comes to having more margin in your budget to tackle your other financial goals faster. Because if half of your paycheck is going to your mortgage, again, you only have 50% of it to use to invest and save for kids college and do all these other things that you wanna do. So when you do this, you guys, I'm telling you in the moment, it may feel like, oh, I feel like we're just kind of like throwing our money into this like big black hole, but your future self will thank you, I promise. And owning a home is a huge accomplishment, but it isn't the end of your financial goal list. So today I wanna challenge you to take one small step towards paying off your home early. And that really can start with your budget which if you have not used every dollar, you need to, because using the Every Dollar Budgeting app, it is incredible, you guys. It is the easiest, fastest way for you to be intentional with your money, to be intentional with your income, to know where your money's going, and to really achieve your money goals. So go to everydollar.com to start your first budget. Okay, it's possible, you guys, to pay off your house early. There's some ways to do it. And I know, again, it's gonna take some intentionality, but this is a huge step forward when you actually say, okay, I'm not gonna just stick to 30 years. It's gonna take me 30 years to pay off my house. If you kind of condense that and actually have a goal and a plan, it's incredible what you can do with your money. It is so powerful. So remember to take control of your money and create a life you love. <laughs>